Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly what's going on there. Obviously, I have a better answer of why. You know, I, I thought they were good play calls. I thought, it really, man, there was a lack of execution, and why that happened, I don't know. Um, you know, we, you know, we'll, we'll have to take a great look at that, and I'll probably have a better answer for you, give you exact on that. But, uh, you know, that obviously those are those are huge plays in the football game. When you're unable to convert on those, does that even, even without, without having the ability, ability to look at film, film yet, does that tell, tell you something, something larger about your offense? offense? Do you feel, Do you feel like, like the ability, ability to pick up, up a yard on the six plays? plays I think it was. Yeah, you know, I, I obviously it's frustrating. You know, it, I think the inconsistency, as I've talked about multiple times, it's more into the theme of that, right? I mean, it's very inconsistent. Um, and you're an offense that drives up and down the field. So, you know, and then you get into some of those moments and, man, you picked up a lot of those throughout the game this today, you know. But the inability to do it there in that moment is, man, it's critical and it's what costs you the football game or at least a huge piece of the football game. What was the decision to go to Drake? Yeah, really just kind of had a better week this week. You know, we were outside most of the week, um, kind of in the elements and, and just really kind of opened it back up. Drake's kind of split time a little bit with PAT, PATs through the last couple weeks. And, you know, just kind of felt like that was maybe the best situation because of the element and obviously um, what happened in practice. So, um, man, right, wrong, or indifferent, we believe in Drake. Drake's a great kid. He's done a great job for our team and, uh, you know, really earned the right to be out there today uh, through what he did in practice. When he misses those, does that change your thinking on those fourth downs? I yeah, know. man, you're down there. You know, I mean, we're down by, I think at that point, we're, we're, we're right there, you know, and plus you're playing field position, right? And, it, you know, we eventually get it in. Um, so you're playing that game knowing that you, you feel like you're going to get the ball back if you don't have success in pretty good field position. And, you know, we did it, finally had the opportunity to score. And then, man, we, we got the opportunity to, to kind of put the game away. And, man, we, we let that slide. So, you know, it kind of the inconsistency of team football a little bit towards the end of the football game, and that's tough. Matt, I wonder what tonight was like emotionally for you, saying goodbye to, to, to senior night. Uh, some, uh, some of these guys playing the last game at Jack Ray Stadium, and then do so, so many, many of the things you need to do to win and, and, and not get it. Yeah, I think that's the really hard part, right? I mean, it's been the hard part all season. It's what tears at me, and it, it's gut wrenching. And and I could care less about me, you know. I could care a ton about our kids, you know. I mean, this senior class has been nothing short of exceptional. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it literally is the greatest greatest leadership that I've seen and it's also been the greatest sense of servant leadership that I've ever witnessed in my life. I mean, you know, I, I look up at that scoreboard and I see the games across the Big 12 and everywhere else and man, it's all over the place, but not our kids. We're right there and have a chance to win the football game. Um, you know, and the reason that's happened is because the leadership of our, our senior class and, you know, the inability to find the consistency to win the football games Man, that that again, that that's on me. That's I'm I'm the result. That's my responsibility. But what has happened and what I've witnessed from the leadership of this senior class to who they are, who they become, I mean, it's way more powerful than any story anybody's gonna write about the the offense or whatever you want to write about. The the great story, and again I said this Tuesday, man, if you miss the story of the character of the senior class, who they are, what they become how they've changed not only their lives, but their family's lives forever. And then you miss, you miss the whole story. And so, um, you know, we, we still have one more football game to get things figured out in terms of playing our best four quarters of football. Um, and we got a great challenge ahead of us. And, you know, for the senior class, we got one more opportunity to send them out the right way. And I know it was really early, but you get the turnover. You get it to their 16-yard line early. Does it feel like if you convert off of that, Bit more possibly very different football game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you talk about those multiple opportunities. I mean, Rob, you, you know, yes, you know, you're, you're down there and, you know, still in a great spot to put points on the board. And, and you, you know, your inability to do that twice in the game, you know, a great two minute drive right before half, 
man, the, and the inability to kind of finish. It just, man, it's kind of been at times offensively, it's been the story of the season. And, you know, that's the hard part because you see so much growth. You see so many positive things, you know, and you can spin it however you want it, but it's inconsistency. It's, it's the ability, inability to be consistent and finish those drives. And, you know, that, that's, been, that's been really tough. I don't, I, don't, I guess I, guess I really don't know how to ask this question, question, but um, Xavier Hutchinson, Hutchinson, Alan Lazard, Lazard, Hutchinson, Hutchinson, Lazard, you know. Man, I can't, you're I in a backyard, him. there you go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, and I said this, Randy, about Alan, you know, I mean, you know, we wish we would have had Alan longer, you know, we, we had Alan for you know, two years, and boy, you would have loved to have him for longer, but uh, man, I mean, I think the great thing about both Allen and X is Allen, by the end of his senior year, which is why he's having so much success, was this guy that was passionate about football, that was, man, he came to work every day, he was a great leader. And X has kind of been that guy in this program, you know, and those two, um, man, they, they, they love football, they love their craft. And both guys, I mean, you, you take them both in a heartbeat in your team, and, and you're, you're really grateful that you've been able to coach both of those guys. And so, you know, there's not many coaches that get the fortune to have two guys like that within their program. You made a couple, a couple different changes, changes on the left side of your offensive line. line. Was yeah, and I think that hurt us a little bit towards the end. You know, Zach Ross really had a great week of practice, and Hufford started the left tackle. And, you know, Zach played really well early on in the game. You know, Zach's played a lot of football for us. Um, and then Zach kind of tweaked his back, which stinks, you know, and, and that, that happened right before half. And, you know, to lose that guy a little bit, it kind of caused us to reshuffle there a little bit in the, in the second half. And obviously no excuse. Tyler came in, I think, did a really good job. But, uh, you know, obviously that was, a, that was a little bit of a challenge there in the second half for us. So, so the, the initial, initial move was, was you wanted to get Zach on the field on that move. We did. You know, I mean, I, I think the, the big thing for us is, you know, obviously Huff had done a really good job and we knew it was going to be a little bit different style game in terms of, you know, going to have to run the football and do some of the things that, you know, we thought would give us maybe the best opportunity to have success. And, um, you know, Zach really had a great week, like I said, and, and Huff has been playing really well for us. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man.